Women, I need you to listen to me closely today. Stop allowing men to define your beauty. All of us come in different sizes and shapes. Learn to embrace what you were blessed with. Don't be concerned about what others think of you. What's most important is how you feel about yourself. Now, if you don't like the way you look, make changes for you, not a man. What's sexy to one man may not be sexy to the next man. And it's the same concept when we look at men. All men aren't created equal when it comes to their body frame. Some men have very toned and athletic bodies. Some men are stocky and short. Some men are tall and thin. And some men are overweight. The point I'm trying to make is this. You can't live your life trying to appeal to everybody. It's pointless. So what if you have a stomach? So what if you're a full-figured woman? So what if you're super skinny with no real shape? So what if you're not thick? So what if you don't have large breasts? So what if you don't have a round apple butt? So what if you have stretch marks? So what if you have cellulite? Really? So what? Ladies, self-love and self-esteem is so very important to have. When you love who you are, people can't make you feel less than just because you don't apparently fit their standards in the way that you look. Beauty is being unique. Beauty is not to be defined. Beauty is what you see in yourself. If a man only sees you for your body, then he's one small thinking boy. You may need to you may need to think on that for a little bit. Because a real man will see the total package in you. You're beautiful. You're unique. You're beautifully blessed just how you're supposed to be. Most females are dissatisfied with how they look and they battle with countless insecurities, not realizing that you look most beautiful when you think you don't. I wish that women and girls all over the world knew just how uniquely beautiful that we all are. Loving yourself for who you are is empowering. And there is great freedom in being unbothered by other people's opinion of you. Now, I just want to touch on this real quick. You have women all over the world that are married. And they are married to men that make them feel worthless. You have married women that may be listening in today, or you may have friends or family members that are married, and you see firsthand how their husbands make them feel. They'll, you know, make little smart remarks, you know, or the, some, some husbands are just blatant and they're very rude and nasty and mean. 
because their wives, you know, bodies maybe have changed or maybe the wives have given birth to their children. And so now her body is different. And some husbands have the nerve to look at their wife in disgust because she's heavier now. And I say shame on them. And then you have some women who are in relationships, maybe they're dating or they've been in long term relationships and their boyfriends just make them feel like they're not worth much, you know, and they'll make comments making them feel like they're not enough or they're not beautiful like they used to be. Or, oh, you gained a little weight. You know what I mean? And they put all this pressure on them. You know what I mean? And I say, shame on them as well. And then I may have some ladies listening in today. You may be single. And maybe you've been single for a while. And you find yourself trying to do this and that to your body so that you can, you know, appeal to these men that you are interested in. Or you go through and, you know, you, you, you wear all these type of things to suck it in and make you look slimmer and all of these type of things. Because when you go out to the clubs or to the bars or you're out and about, you just want these men to, to notice you. You understand, women, I want to encourage you today to stop insulting yourself like that. If a man cannot love, respect, and appreciate you for who you are, you are with the wrong man. Let me share something with you. I have been married for over 17 plus years to an amazing man. But I want to share this with you. When I met, when I first met my husband, I was a petite little thing. I didn't have any fat on me. I certainly didn't have no hips, no thighs, none of that. I didn't have any stomach. Okay. 17 plus years, well, I look totally different, okay? I went, I think when I met him, I was like uh, a size 10, I believe, a very neat size 10, okay? And now I'm a 14, you know? So, yes, now I have the wide hips, the thighs, the butt, and, and yes, some stomach too, okay? But you know what, ladies? I have one thing, and that's self-love. And nobody is going to make me feel as if I'm not enough. Now, my husband has never said anything about my weight, you know. And, of course, come on, we've been married over 17 plus years, so of course he notices the weight gain, you know. But our love. And our commitment to one another is not based on what, you know, we look like. That's so superficial. So if you are with someone that makes you feel other than beautiful, you need to reevaluate some things. No man, and I do mean no man, has the right to make you feel as if you are not enough or you're not pretty or you're not sexy or you're not exquisite or you're not gorgeous no ladies do not give a man that kind of power over you they don't get to do that and I can assure you if my husband was anything other than good to me we would not be married yes I do have a very strong personality but that negates the fact I just will not have a man disrespecting me and beating my self-esteem into the ground and making me feel insecure about myself. And that's why I want to encourage you today. If a man is making you feel any of those things I just named off, 
I really want you to build up the courage and the strength to evaluate why you are staying in something like that. It's already bad enough, ladies, that we have, you know, um, all of the, you know, you got the celebrities, uh, you got um, the, the, the magazine covers, and now social media is a big thing. So you have all the Instagram mod models and, and, and everything else that comes with it. And society tries to tell us what beauty looks like. And I'm sorry. They don't get to do that either. You know, I want you to take a stand for you. Like I said, you have to stop insulting yourself like that. Why should you now let me back this up a little bit. Now, if you are overweight and unhealthy, then that's one thing. You understand if a person is coming to you in love and they're concerned about your health, then I would, you know, encourage you to be open to that, you know, because health is everything without our health. Well, we're pretty much nothing. You know, health is is truly valuable. But on the other hand, if you have a, 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 a husband or a boyfriend or somebody you may be interested in. And they're like, oh, well, you know, let's say, let me give you an example. Let's say you're looking at old pictures or whatnot. And they're like, oh, my God, you used to look like that. Oh, man, you were totally sexy back then. Okay, again, insult ladies. Or you have a husband or a boyfriend and they're saying, wow, honey, you, you know, that dress in the closet. I sure miss you wearing that, you know, uh, insult ladies i mean you're not getting all the nasty hints that's being thrown your way you know or when you're out and about oh my goodness now this one just disgusts me when you're out and about and you have a husband or a boyfriend you know you're you're ordering what you want to order and they give you that look like uh you're gonna order that or when everybody else is eating dessert they kind of like look at you like you don't need any. And like I said, some um, husbands and boyfriends are just so rude and they'll be like, oh, well, no, she's not going to have dessert. Oh, no, ladies, I'm sorry. That is just not acceptable. And you do not deserve that. I repeat, you do not deserve that. It's unacceptable. It's unacceptable in my book and it needs to be unacceptable in your book. And I'm going to leave you with this. I know a lot of times when women are in relationships, they, you know, they get comfortable and, you know, some women, they just feel like, oh, I don't want to start over. And then some of you maybe have gained a little weight. You understand what I'm saying? And you just feel like, oh, nobody else will want me. Lies, lies, lies. I'm going to say it again. Lies, lies, lies. There is someone else out there that will be more than willing to love you, to respect you, um, to adore you. You understand what I'm saying? So I just wanted to make this quick video, to the point video, to let you know that you are worthy, you are enough, and nobody gets to have that kind of power where they make you just feel like you need to change this or you need to change that, okay? Nobody deserves to do that. And I have seen firsthand I've seen my, some of my friends go through this type of thing, so I know exactly what I'm talking about, where, quite frankly, they're just married to some, I don't see how they do it, and I'm going to keep this video respectful, but I'm going to tell you, I've seen firsthand where their husbands are just not very nice to them. They're, they're not. You know, my husband and I, we are respectful towards one another when we speak. I believe I'm, I'm in my mid 40s 
And I know I'm kind of young to say what I'm to, to, you know, feel maybe to feel the way what I'm about to say next. But I believe in like old school values and morals. And, you know, I take my marriage very seriously. I respect my husband. He respects me. I love my husband. He loves me. I support my husband. He supports me. I spoil my husband. You hear that? Yes, I do. Many women like to just be spoiled, but no, I spoil my husband, my husband, and he spoils me too. And I could keep going on down the line, but that's what a true committed and loving relationship looks like. And I can tell you what, if I was so like overweight, like excessively overweight, I know my husband would come to me in love. It wouldn't be to down me and make me feel, you know, worse than what I'm probably already feeling. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, and, and before I, I, I always get long winded, but I just want to share a quick story because I really want to encourage women listening in today. I remember um, it's been about, I would say, uh, eight years ago. Eight year, well, we're no longer friends now, but I had a friend, and I'll, and I'll walk you down that. I'm not going to be long-winded while we're not friends anymore. I had a friend I have been knowing since junior high, and um, we used to dance together, you know, ballet, um, lyrical, contemporary, hip-hop. We did it all. We were exceptional dancers, okay? And she met this guy, and I was just so happy for her. She had spoke highly about this guy and everything. And I was genuinely happy for her because I know, you know, her past relations just were not very healthy. Okay. Well, long story short, um, come to find out this one was not healthy either. They divorced within a couple years. But when I was at her house one day, I never forget she was baking, making some desserts from scratch. And I am a big dessert lover, let me tell you. So, you know, the d desserts were done and, you know, we had the family, the friends over there. She had invited us over, you know, to just, you know, enjoy one another. But I noticed when it came to dessert time, well, to be honest, let me back it up. Even at dinner, she didn't really eat too much. I didn't question it. But then when dessert came around, you know, I noticed she didn't have any of it. And I asked her, you know, I can't say her name because that would be rude and disrespectful. But I asked her, you know, why she wasn't having any. And she goes, oh, well, you know, I've gained a little weight, so I'm just kind of cutting back. And, and I looked at this girl, now mind you, this, trust me when I say, this is what I'm talking about, ladies. Allowing a man to mentally and verbally abuse you. If you saw my friend, you would be asking yourself, what fat, what weight, literally. And I looked at her. I said, girl, what are you talking about? And do you know what this jerk said? He says, well, no, she has gained weight since I've met her in a nasty tone like that. Well, needless to say, friends and family were around. So I was like, Stephanie, just, you know, just, okay, talk to her later about this. But if you could have heard the nasty, mean tone. So he had control over her. That's why she wasn't even enjoying the dessert with her family and friends. Ladies, I need you to hear me today. A man does not get to have that type of control over you to tell you what you can and cannot eat. Are you serious? I don't think so. So I wanted to just share that story. I could share so many, but I don't want to get long winded. But I think you guys get my point. If you are in a situation like that, 
you're in the wrong relationship. And I know a lot of you ladies listening in today, this may be a hard pill for you to swallow because you may not be willing to really, you know, to fully look at what is. This may be uncomfortable for you to even listen to today. But I just want to encourage you to take, you know, the steps that you need to to be in a healthy relationship. Because love does not consist of that. I'm going to let you know right now. Like I said, I've been married for over 17 plus years. And I know what love feels like. And I know what love looks like. Okay. So I hope that this, this message resonates with somebody today. And, and let this serve as a wake up call to you. Because you deserve to be loved properly. My name is Stephanie Lahart. I am an author, poet, youth motivational speaker for at-risk teens, teen mentor, and entrepreneur. If you enjoyed this video today, I would greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And ladies, I welcome your comments. Please don't be shy. Leave your comments. I want to hear what you feel and think about this. And if you know of any other friends or family or coworkers or anybody that you may know that may be able to benefit from listening to this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you would share it with them as well. If you would like to connect with me on social media, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you would like to learn more about me, feel free to Google me. Once again, my name is Stephanie Lahart, and I am wishing you a pleasant day. Until next time.